Ever since Han Sohi stepped into the limelight, she's been criticized for her bold and daring attitude. Whether it came to her humble beginnings, grunge looks, or outspoken personality, Netizen's always had something to say. Nothing she did was bad enough to get her canceled, though, as she always managed to bounce back from any backlash. At least, that was until now, because her dating controversy with Ryu Junyul made her fall off completely. Now, there's a lot to unpack here, so let's start right at the beginning, the moment the dating news hit the public. The whole drama started on March 15th when a Japanese citizen claimed that they'd seen Sohi and Junyul spending time together on a vacation in Hawaii. When netizens saw this post, they had to do a double take, as Junyul had just come out of a seven-year-long relationship with Girls Day's Hieri. They met on the set of Reply 1988, and everyone was hoping they would get married anytime soon. Their breakup shattered hearts all across the globe, and Junyul's trip to Hawaii only made their heartache worse. Although he and Sohi went there for their relaxation, the chaos that erupted was probably not worth it whatsoever. Rumors started surfacing left and right to the point their respective agencies had to get involved to shut them down. It was going only downhill from there since Junyol's ex-girlfriend also decided to involve herself in the matter. She posted a very cryptic picture of palm trees on her Instagram story, very clearly directed towards Junyol and Sohi. She decided to keep the caption simple by writing nothing more than funny. To really make clear that this was shade towards the two, she decided to unfollow Junyol the very same day. Hieri's involvement didn't exactly help Zoe's already crumbling reputation, as people were now convinced she was a homewrecker. Netizens were making posts left and right stating that Junyol must have left Hieri for Sohi. At this point in time, the burning question was whether Junyol had cheated on Hieri with Sohi. The public was trying to figure out the timeline of the relationship, only causing more turmoil. Reports revealed that Sohi visited Junyol's art exhibition only two days after he went public about his breakup with Hieri. The public wasn't too happy about this, as it was just another clear clue that infidelity might have been present. Several news outlets helped Sohi save some face, as they reported that Junyol never interacted with Sohi while he was in a relationship with Hieri. This didn't exactly make things better, though, as people were still calling Sohi a homewrecker to the point she couldn't take it anymore. The public outrage really got to Sohi, and to say it made her crack under pressure is an understatement. She decided to clear the air by making a cryptic Instagram post, which in hindsight was a terrible idea because she practically dug her own grave with it. She shared a meme of a dog leaning on a knife saying, I don't like people who have a lover, nor do I give them space, interest, or establish a relationship under the guise of friendship, nor do I meddle in other people's relationships. She ended the message by writing, I find it funny too, which was a not so subtle way of clapping back at Harry. Although Sohi probably thought this would come across as a cool and funny way of handling the situation, the public response was anything but positive. Sharing their disbelief at the situation, a netizen wrote, Han Sohi is so pitiful. She was cursed out to the point where she was almost ousted from the industry and she gets cursed out more for uploading this. From then on, Sohi started spiraling big time. She deleted her initial post after seeing all the backlash and decided to post a lengthy letter on her blog to address the situation again. With this post, she confirmed her relationship with Junyol, which shocked a lot of people, since it initially looked like she was denying the rumors. Explaining the timeline behind their relationship, she wrote, It was already the beginning of 2024, and his breakup with that person was already wrapped up in early 2023. I heard that news articles about the breakup came out out in November, based on this fact, I confirmed my own feelings and I kept going with the relationship. She continued by saying her Instagram post was really immature and that she simply just felt the need to come clean because she couldn't stand seeing that the public was painting her off as a homewrecker. Netizens were at a loss for words since they couldn't believe so he didn't just apologize to Hieri right away. People started leaving malicious comments on her blog post, calling her unhinged and criticizing her lack of control. Fans straight up told her she couldn't have sunk any lower than this. To their surprise, she did in fact sink much lower by continuously responding to malicious comments that people left under her post. One stood out in particular because it was a comment regarding the timeline of her relationship. She wrote, What I said about the timing of their breakup wasn't something I heard personally from Ryu Junyol. I wrote that based on an article from June of last year, but if it was out of line, I'll delete it. Considering her erratic state, many started wondering how truthful 
she was when she started seeing Junyol after his breakup. It's an understatement to say that all hell broke loose after she hit send on this comment, since nothing about her story was adding up anymore. Exports News disclosed that there were no articles released in June regarding rumors of a split between Junyol and Yeri, which made Sohee look like a big liar. The inconsistencies in the story painted her in a very negative light and turned her already bad dating scandal into a potential way more controversial cheating scandal. Things took a questionable turn when Hyeri made a post explaining her side of the story. She made the shocking revelation that even after her relationship with Junyol had ended, the two agreed to discuss their relationship further. It turns out that this supposedly never happened though. After Hyeri revealed this to the public, so he decided to take matters into her own hands once again by lashing out in yet another post. On March 29th, she uploaded a long text on her Instagram, candidly telling her fans that the rumors have been taking a serious toll on her. So he proceeded to shut down the rumors of her being a homewrecker by explaining that she hadn't met Junyol either privately or publicly before the photo exhibit. She firmly emphasized that despite all the false reports, they didn't share any mutual acquaintances. She was firm about the fact that Junyol and Hyeri were broken up when she met him. Referencing Hyeri's post, she said, Although I cannot speak directly on the matter of why Sun Benim wrote in her apology post that she had promised to meet him in November, I do know that the purpose of this meeting was not to rekindle their relationship. In her post, Sohi made it clear that she had made attempts to contact Hyeri about the matter, but that she had been unsuccessful. She took the bold step of urging Hyeri to address any inaccuracies in her statement and even invited her to reach out in order to clear the air. Clearly frustrated with Junyol's silence, so he wrote, I am also frustrated about the fact that one person involved in this matter is maintaining silence. So he feared that Junyol's silence would make it look like she was deceived by his lies and that he did in fact leave Yeri for her. She then went on a long rant about how this scandal has affected her and the people around her. So he continued by saying she didn't understand why the public seemed to despise her so much. She simply wanted to know why she was the target of so much hatred as in the eyes of the public Public, nothing she did seemed to be right. Channeling her deepest frustration, she wrote, it seems people want me to explain some parts and want me to stay silent on others. I am not sure what people want from me. I am writing this because I don't think I should respond with silence. Just like her previous posts, this one was deleted, so he apologized once more, saying she acted too rashly. It's safe to say netizens had enough of her and her posts at this point. They started criticizing her for mentioning Hieri multiple times, saying things such as, if you're so sure that your relationship is clean, then just keep dating him and stay quiet. Why do you keep dragging Hieri's name into your issues? People started wondering where her agency was in all this, as this was bad publicity for them. Fans practically started begging her label to take her phone away to prevent her from having another public outburst. At the height of all the drama, Korean news outlets claimed that her label actually barely has any influence on Sohee. Allegedly, one of her managers spoke up about this and said, Han Sohee is uncontrollable in areas outside of work. It's said that Sohee's relationship with her agency is strictly professional. Reports even state that she allegedly doesn't listen to any advice they give her regarding her personal life. In fact, she prefers it if they don't interfere in her private matters at all. Considering her image took a big plunge after she went on an online rampage, maybe following the guidance of her agency wouldn't have been so bad. She let things get so out of hand to the point fans started to feel bad for her company because they kept taking hit after hit. Of course, Dispatch had to get involved in the matter by releasing the couple's official expose. In their report, they shared pictures of the trip Sohi and Junyol took to Hawaii. Sohi was seen looking at her phone pretty anxiously. Initially, the photos were incredibly clear, leading to fans being able to see what was on her phone screen. Sohi was caught checking online communities for responses to her controversy. Later on, though, the picture was blurred by Dispatch, and the article was edited to sound more positive. Netizens accused Sohi's agency of paying off the news outlet as a way of doing damage control. The drama between Sohi, Junyol, and Hieri finally came to an end when Sohi decided to end her relationship only a day after she publicly called out Hieri. On March 30th, Sohi updated her blog with a meme of Nicole Kidman who was on cloud nine after having filed divorce from Tom Cruise. Sohi made this post an hour before it became public knowledge that she and Junyol had officially called it quits after only two weeks of public dating. Both Sohi's agency and Junyol's side quickly confirmed the news. They revealed the reason behind the breakup, stating that they realized that their roles as actors were greater. Both actors promised not to mix emotion with work anymore. 
Sohee's label owned up to her erratic behavior, stating, Han Sohee has made both herself and the public suffer due to her personal feelings all this time. The way she communicated with the public was not right. She is sorry. She will duly receive whatever criticism there is. They apologized for not being able to contain her and promised they'd try to take care of the situation. Sohee decided she had to throw a public fit once more by shading Junyul in a response to a fan. This person expressed that they felt relieved she had broken up with Junyul, as he seemed to be an avoidant man who didn't have her back whatsoever. In response to this, Sohee took a hit at him as well, saying, The person in question kept his mouth shut while I was trying to do anything I could. People say that in time, things will get forgotten, but what do I do? This comment sparked another heated debate online, and just like all the other out-of-pocket responses Sohee made, it got deleted. Wikitree then published a report stating that a higher up from Sohee's agency reached out to them to apologize for Sohee's questionable behavior. Her agency claimed that Sohee was regretful of her comment, as it probably hurt Junyol and his image. Weirdly enough, this article was then also deleted, causing even more confusion and chaos. With the breakup, all the chaos finally came to an end, but the consequences were dire. Throughout this entire mess, Sohee reacted pretty poorly to a lot of things, and it definitely came at a big cost. For instance, NH Bank decided to drop her as their model following the controversy, even though she had been working with them for three years. Soju Branchum Churum also made the decision not to renew their contract with Sohee and started looking for a replacement. Not to mention, her public image completely crumbled, and she ended up losing hundreds of thousands of followers. Netizens started calling her all sorts of things, digging into her background and even insulting her family members. Due to all the negative attention, people also started looking into her past problematic behavior, accusing her of always having been a liar and a terrible person. They brought up the story of how Sohee almost went to an art university in France, but that she couldn't go because she didn't have the 60 million won to pay the visa application. They started doubting whether she was ever actually accepted because they found out that the application was only 10 million won. Even more suspicious is the fact that Sohee doesn't even speak French, which is a requirement to get accepted. Basically, people believed she's been lying about many things from the start of her career. Fans then also dug up her rude comments towards famous actress Song Hye Kyo. The two were being compared, and Sohee felt personally offended. She asked if fans were out of their minds making such a comparison and continued to respond with curses. As the cherry on top, Sohee was also being accused of school violence at the height of her controversy. A netizen claimed that Sohee treated them badly and never abided by the school's rules. Sharing their alleged experience, they wrote, She was the one who always brought a Burberry or Chanel bag or purse, and she disobeyed the school rules by wearing a blouse instead of the prescribed uniform. In particular, she disrespected the teachers and didn't follow the rules of class time. Fans thought this story was a little hard to believe, though, since Sohee came from a very humble background and definitely didn't have the money to buy a Chanel bag. It seems like Sohee is finally trying to leave all of this behind her, as she recently posted one of her upcoming movies on Instagram, making it seem like nothing is wrong. Keeping in mind the serious repercussions this scandal had for her career, it looks like her reckless behavior will continue to haunt her for years to come.